Oh my gosh, is she okay? Hey little Peacherinos and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you have your peach juice on hand. I invite you to take a little sip of it right now. Oh, so refreshing and delicious. So we are back in Windenburg today for a little bit of In the Suburbs for you guys. So I'm in a bit of a weird place at the moment because I almost have two In the Suburbs families. We've got Connor and Erica and little Baba Summer. And then we've got all of the OG Suburbs clan as well. I'm not really sure what I want to do about that because I don't really want to start a new series. So I don't know, a little bit lost at the moment. But I said I was going to head back to the In the Suburbs gang so that we could kind of do a little little bit of a harvest fest and Salma is obviously the best cook in all of the sim series. She is my best cooking, best cooking sim and probably best looking sim, let's not lie. Of everyone, so it made sense for her to do a harvest fest. I think she wanted to do one, either we do it with all the Kalariakins, might be a little bit too many people, or we just go ahead and do it with her extended family. I'll kind of make it up as I go along, but one thing I need to do first, you guys, is none of these guys have their Shabba. cold weather looks, so I just need to go ahead and give everybody a little bit of a cold weather look. Look, can you really see our shirt wearing that? It also pierces his ears for him. Oh, your eyelashes, where have they gone? There you go. Yeah, I don't really know why it would just pierce his ears up for him. So let's go ahead and give it everybody. It's not like a super cold weather look. It's like, oh, Evie's peaced out. Goodbye. Goodbye, Libyan. He needs like, um, it's more like a wet weather. I'm giving everybody these two because I just really like them. So I think I need to stop doing that and find some other outfits for the gangalang. Why don't you dress as Final Fantasy there, friendo? Looking pretty rad. That's actually like a really cool outfit, isn't it? Is that fi the newest Final Fantasy? Is it 15? Maybe 15. I don't know. I have not played it. Man, I sure can just pull off anything. Let's face it. Let's not lie to ourselves about the situation. Oh my gosh, I downloaded this. It gets really like cute when guys put their little, little jumper up behind themselves like that. However, definitely more of a summer look. Uh, I lost my breath. Mm -hmm. Bit too young, Asha. <laughs> I put this look on and then I put the scarf on. And he just looks so top heavy, it's untrue. I may have to lose the scarf, but I don't mind the rest of the look. I think that's fine for it's starting to get a little bit colder sort of weather. On to the Charles de Rooney. He's in her JJ's at the moment. Okay, this is the one it's given her. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't hate it. I just don't know if it's a little bit more wintry. And when I go back to the in the suburbs, I'm gonna have to change so many people's outfits. <laughs> Not in the suburbs, in the city. Oh. I gave them all basically Christmas outfits. Let's face it. Why does it look so tiny and lost on her neck? <laughs> That's actually hilarious. And that one just doesn't work at all. Gosh darn it. Okay, for Charlie, I've just gone for, again, a bit of a thicker cardigan. She's looking nice oh. and warm for the winter. May Rudy, who is our oh. more, like, gothy kind of sim, kind of a big fan of the colour black. So probably not going to wear that for her winter look, I wouldn't say. And those are some quite gothic-y boots, aren't they? I don't know if she's quite as gothic-y as that. Okay, maybe this kind of a look is good for, like, it's a little bit colder weather. I don't think she needs a scarf yet. I just want to put scarves on everybody because I've just found them and I love them. I will hold off just for now. Oh, look, it's mini Asha. I actually have these new Goo Goo overlays. How do they look on them? Oh, it gives them a little freckle. Oh, oh yes, you're having a freckle with my child. It looks so cute. I've also got this one here. No, I like that one better. I like the Goo Goo overlay, you little Goo Goo head. Now let's give him some clothes. Some wet weather clothes. I'm kind of enjoying this little burgundy color on him. Looking super, super adorable. Oh, and little rainstorm boots. Okay, you look mega cute. All wrapped up and nice and warm. Let's see if this little Goo Goo needs any uh, skin overlays too. That, that's without and that's with a Goo Goo. And that's without and that's with a Bebe. <laughs> I'm kind of... I don't know. This is what she had before. I quite like that one. And if they're both twins, I imagine they're both got a similar vibe. They're not identical twins, though. That's the thing. How about... Oh, wait. I never gave her a look, did I? You can't go around in the dark, in the cold like that. Oh, man. You are such a styling little baba. You know what? Other than the sunglasses, because I don't think you need it in the rain. You look... You. I like the way you've dressed yourself, kiddo. I'm going to leave you as you are. 
<gasps> oh my gosh, there's something I need to do though. Something I 1 million percent need to do. You need your little bear dress that I downloaded for you. Look how cute she looks. She is the bear, you guys. She is fully bear right now. And I'm, I love her. I love it so much. And then Salma, Salma, Salma. Aww. What can we put on you? You need to look like mega styling, don't you? Look at her board still, by the way. She still looks pretty amazing, you guys. Would she still be able to clomp around in those heels, though? I don't think it's wise on an older lady. I just don't. All those ones. Oh, they're just, they don't look right. She looks too old for them. She's like, how can you say that, Claire? I am the sofa. Maybe something like that instead. She's still looking pretty styling, you guys. Okay. Jim Bobaroo. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Just straight up. Nah. Oh no, you're not that kind of an old person. I mean, he's like ex football player James. I feel like he's gonna look pretty swagging, you know? Maybe something like that. He can keep the heart. I actually don't mind it. I think that looks better. And then how about you, Noella Rooney? Oh my god, no. no. Very teeny looking, but just not very Noelle looking. Okay, Noelle was a little bit harder because I'm not as sure as the way she's dressing at the moment. Because she's kind of in between phases, isn't she? But I thought this looked pretty cute. I like that a lot. Okay, let's get in and actually play a little bit of the game now. I've just spent the first 30 minutes of this recording making outfits. Ain't that just always the way? Okay, so please don't tell me you've done this to me game. Okay, this is great. It's still Wednesday, I didn't want to accidentally miss Harvest Fest, but it's fine because look, we're gonna head into Thursday, and I, I mean, do, okay, they still have school, but they have school until three, so maybe we could get everything ready for them when they come home. <laughs> that could be pretty cute. Okay, so we're back in the suburbs household. I kind of need to check, you know, have we got everybody's birthdays in here too? Okay, so that is when the two little toddlers are going to be aging up. So it's it's in the winter. Okay, so their birthday is going to be in the winter. But what I think I'm going to do is after Harvest Fest, I'm going to change my month length to 28 days. So I don't know if that's going to push their birthdays into the fall or not. I don't really know how it works. But for Harvest Fest, we're going to have to decorate the house. We're going to have to give respect and gifts to the friendly gnomes. Do a grand meal and then being thankful to each other. So I think that's a pretty beautiful idea for a festival. And Asher is meant to be at work. This always happens. Someone's always meant to be at work. No dancing, Asher, okay? More going to work for the final hour and a half you've got left of it. Why does this always seem to happen to me? Girly whirlies, do you just want to go ahead and get your homeworks done? I don't even know if you went to school today. Join it. But if you could just do your homework regardless, that would be great. Oh my gosh, look what picture she's got in her inventory. Can I just... Can I, I don't know why it's floating, but look at that. It's a picture of Kylie, so she can never forget her face. And then she's also got some like school projects to do. But I do feel like they're from when you were a child. Like, I feel like if I put this on the ground, you're not actually even going to be able to do it. So, kind of wasteful. So, if you guys remember in the last episode, little Macy was kind of... Oh, is Salma going to help her with her homework? Salma, you good little googie egg. Macy was kind of torn between two sims. She likes Akira and she likes... Uh, sorry, she liked Jamie first, but Jamie kind of like blew her off a little bit. So she chatted with Akira about the way she was feeling. And during that sort of like, I'm struggling with my feelings, I'm struggling with who I like, she started to like Akira quite a lot. And it was almost like, oh wow, she's not enjoying doing her homework. But it was almost like, James researched the plantain tree and updated the notebook. What is the notebook? I'm gonna figure that out in a second, but uh, it was almost like she started to get feelings for Akira. Jamie knew called her and invited her to a party. But I think Macy is definitely a lot more into Akira now. And you guys like those two as a couple. So I think that's something we should explore. However, James, what is what is going on with this notebook that you have apparently got? It's gardening. Oh! So you can learn a little bit more about gardening with the, with the actual plantain is like a summer fruit. You've got to only grow it in the summer. So there's like seasonal fruits now. So he must be, I've been like exploring the garden. A lot of my things are like dormant now, I think. So, oh no, these are meant to be in season. Selma, get outside, go ahead and do a little bit of tending to your garden, please, friendo. Some of my plants do look a little bit like though, if they're out of season. They're all looking a little bit gray, like they're just looking a little bit autumnal, aren't they? 
Oh my gosh, what is going on with the roof here? No, thank you. Sure hate it when the house isn't all nicely finished off. Bugs me a lot. Okay, that's looking a lot more like everything's lined up. What's going on here? What are you? What? What even is that? Is that from the floor below? Oh, it's the blind coming through the roof, as you do. Okay, I think things are looking a little bit better now. Good, good, good. I still hate that these windows, like, you see all, like, the weird glitches in my house? It's from the windows that I use. It is pretty annoying, but this is the first time we've seen little Salma getting on with her garden in a while. Salma, the pro gardener, I think she's enjoying just, like, doing a little bit more of the kind of stuff you do when you're an elder, enjoying the more relaxed things in life, doing a bit of gardening. I don't know, reading. What do all people do? I don't know, they read magazines about what's on TV. <gasps> and oh my gosh, Elder, days left, six, including zero bonus days. Guys, Salma is almost at the end of her life. <gasps> How is this the case? She completed her lifetime achievement and everything. Can I maybe buy her a few more days? I don't know if the potion of youth just resets her age, but she's an elder. So I don't know if that's going to work. <gasps> I know how much you guys love Salma, but I think she's getting towards the end of her life, you guys. I think she is. Oh, look, she can do a super sell, though. Get on that, Salma Rooney. Sell everything. Oh, 400. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Lots of lovely minis. Okay, because she's getting towards the end of her life, I'm going to make sure she's spending time with the little toddler Roonies. So Chase is up here in his parents' room, eating a little bit of fruit salad, and Willow is downstairs getting fed by Charlie Rose. Good mum in there, Charlie Rose. I don't even need to tell you to do anything. Yet yeah, both my little cheddars are being fed, so well done. And Salma's just in here watching over little Willow. Oh, giving her some little, little chit chats while she's in a little high chair. But three generations here of Alarabies. You've got the matriarch of the whole clan, Salma. You've got little Charlie Parley Rose. And we've got little Googie Egg Willow over here. Okay, Salma, why don't you come over here? She needs to do a potty. Come and pick her up. And then let's do a little bit of potty training with Willow. Oh my gosh, I don't want Salma to go. I don't want Salma to go. I feel like I need to just like do loads of stuff with her today. And she's doing the big harvest meal, you guys. <gasps> Why is it so horrible when Sims die? Here she is, you guys, being good Grandma Rooney, looking after little Willow. The thing is, even if Salma goes, like, her genes are pretty strong. We've seen little Summer. Summer looks a lot like Salma. Some, Salma's jeans are going to be there for a long time yet, you guys. Don't even worry. And she's asking her, do you want to do a little bit of potty training? What do you reckon? I'll give you a hand. Oh, 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 you guys told me if I don't want people wearing warm or hot clothes in the house, I need to buy a thermostat. And oh my gosh, I'm like, there's no alarms. It's fine. There actually is alarms. Oh no, that was in house flipper. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so if I put this in the hallway... Will it just work for the whole house? Like, where's a sensible place to put a thermostat? Maybe just, like, here? Then let me investigate what goes on with this. Asha, why don't you set thermostat? Warmer? Raise the temperature in your home, but raise your power bill or cooler. I guess we go for warmer, and then people aren't going to be wearing their cold clothes inside, because everyone must be cold inside the house. You guys, let me give you a quick weather update while we're on the subject. So, it is day 11 of 14 of fall. Um, the weather outside is cloudy with cold temperatures. The cloud is expected to last through the rest of the day, potentially even into Harvest Fest, which I guess is why everything's looking a little bit dark and murky. But there we go, we have the red thermostat on. So hopefully people in the house are going to start changing out of their cold clothing and into something a little bit warmer. So, Salma, let's change you into your regular outfit, please. Go for this nice little coat. Oh, there you go. Oh, Gorgeous, gorgeous outfit. And this little cool. Giggy Egg is you getting her trade in, you guys. Wait, you've got the wrong eyes. Why do you have the wrong eyes? Ah, I can't find her eyes. Where have they gone? There should be the 27 eyes. They definitely exist because Ash has got them. I just apparently can't apply them to toddlers anymore. But I had them on toddlers before, so that makes literally no sense. That's so weird. Her eyes are gone. I'm going to put them back on her when she's a child. But I really don't understand why 
before I could put the eyes on a toddler, but now I can't. Don't you think that's super weird? <gasps> and I've just realized Charlie's job isn't there anymore. Charlie, you're meant to be a stylist, my little bun bun. Let's make sure we get you back on that. You guys said I'm super blind. I didn't notice it before. Ah, okay. I'm gonna see if I can MCC cheat her because there's no way she, she starts at the bottom of the ladder. She should definitely be higher than that. Okay, she was higher than magazine attendant. She was higher than gossip expert. Was she a style consultant? We see one more. Okay. I think she picked makeup eyes, so she was definitely at least this one. Carnival painter. Okay. I think that's potentially what she was at. Okay, that's good. That's good. Come on. Um, you called him, mom. Yeah. <gasps> Willow, can I use the potty yeah, chair? Second. Well done, uh, Selma. Good <laughs> grandma in right <laughs> there. Wrong. James, why don't you go ahead and read little Chase to sleep uh, after he's finished on here. Oh, and Selma's now stressed because the potty's dirty. There's one thing Selma hates, it's dirt. So Macy's like... School is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Well, you kind of need to go to school. I'm going to go for it in teachers important things because society requires school for success. It's a bit heavy. It's a bit much, isn't it? And how are all their little teen character values doing? So Macy's empathy and emotional control aren't very good. Uh -huh. What can I do to help out with her empathy? <gasps> She's losing empathy right now. Stop trolling the forums. Whip Not cool. I'm just going to get her to go and like do nice the things so that her empathy tries to improve. And this one's empathy also isn't great, but she's mean, so I don't really expect it to be. But look at those manners and responsibility. What a good googie egg. I don't know why you're napping on grandma and granddad's bed either. Why don't you go ahead and go to sleep if you're tired? Hey. Oh, the grandparents in here doing good teachers of everybody. Okay, Salma, I think it's time to go ahead and read Willow to sleep. And then you can clean this potty because I know you're absolutely desperate to do it. So James has gone ahead and read little Chase to sleep, but... We're having a bit more trouble with this little googie egg. It's saying that, like, I can't read her to sleep. Okay, now it's saying I can. The be this bed is so glitchy. It's like, no, you can't do it. They're like, oh, I'm surely going. And then a minute later, they actually do it. But there we go, guys. Some nice grandma time with Selma for the six days she has left. <gasps> and the, she's reading her a book about dinosaurs. That's so cool. Oh, and James listening in. James, what are you going to do with that wife? Because look at James's time left. James, like, literally has, like, 4,000 years left. Like, he's broken. He is so broken because that don't make any sense to me. So I don't know what we're going to do about that because making James live for 400 days, he'd probably outlive every single sin we have left, which obviously doesn't really make much sense. Salma's isn't glowing yet, though, so I'm not too worried. She has lived for 600 days. James has lived for 589 days. He is a bit younger than Salma. 600 days i don't actually know how old claire and ali were when they died but i don't know if they were 600 days i think they've outlived like everybody else we have so far that is pretty insane I'm feeling like charlie rose probably needs to age up as well you know because look it's saying asha's like halfway up to being an elder but charlie rose for some reason is still a young adult which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me so I may go ahead tomorrow and just do a little bit of cheating on her as well. After all that babysitting, Selma is doing what she does best. A bit of cleaning. Loves herself a little bit of cleaning. It just makes her happy. Like, literally, it actually makes her happy to clean. Which is quite beautiful, isn't it? And I don't know why they never use the dishwasher. There's, like, a literally dishwasher right there. But they always use the sink. I use the dishwasher for them more than they do. Oh, look at this, because it's the winter. They've got the fire on. Oh, I love that! Look at the little fire going! How snuggly and warm does that look? Oh, and the fire's off now. The fire's off for the night because everybody's heading to bed. But the embers are still burning away. Uh, Salma, I said everybody was heading to bed. You've got loads to do tomorrow. And Macy, why are you downstairs doing push-ups? You need to go to sleep too. Oh, and look at this, guys! We have got rain in the world of The Sims. Can you see it splashing the water? Oh my gosh, you can! Look! The rain is hitting the water. Is this the first big rain shower we've had? It might actually be. We've had snow, but I don't know if we've had loads of rain yet. We might have had a bit of rain, but we are on to Thursday now. <gasps> and the weather forecast for today is rain throughout the day. We can also expect cold weather with heavy rain in the morning, which is exactly what we're getting right now. <gasps> But it's harvest first, get ready. The rain doesn't bounce off this. Just noticing that, that's kind of annoying. 
It should be bouncing off the roof as well, really, shouldn't it? Oh, and old man James had to wake up for his wee in the night. Just part of the parcel of being old, you guys. Okay, Noelle did as well, which makes a little bit less sense. So, some of you guys also pointed out that if I look at Noelle's family tree, we can see that Nathan has grown up into a toddler. We still haven't found him yet, but we know at least that he's grown up into a toddler. So, pretty interested, you guys. Nate, uh, I've noticed that Julian is doing no effort to find him at all. But there you go. Jamie's still got that god awful outfit. <gasps> he's an ace engineer now, though. Well done, Jamie. So, Charlie Rose has her first day back at work today, but she does finish at four. So I think if we start prepping food at around 2 and getting the house all ready, we should be absolutely fine. Hopefully Connor doesn't have work. I know Connor works. The thing is, Erica works nights. Hopefully she'll still be able to come. <gasps> and here we go, you guys. Harvest Fest from 6 a.m. till 2 a.m. So decorate, gnomes, grand meal, and thankful spirit. <gasps> and oh my gosh, look at my bathroom. Look at my bathroom. I must have accidentally deleted a bathroom set. I'm gonna have to redecorate this room, I'm thinking. How did I just not notice that until now? Okay, I'm gonna get them this, this cool, like, jet kind of bath thing. Sorry, Macy, I have to inter inter interrupt your toilet in because I'm moving some stuff around. Oh my gosh, I need somebody to be in succulents. I just wanna put these succulent stuff everywhere. We need to make a new gardening sim, okay? There needs to be another Salma. Okay, there we go. At least we've got a bathroom in place again now. I feel like you need a mirror above a sink. It's just... It's rice, isn't it? There we go. Looking much better in there. At least it's actually a usable room now. Go see, make sure you can use this shower, okay? Okay, yep, yeah, the shower is usable. And Macy's naked outfit has a hat on it. So, you know, that's interesting. Oh, and the kids have woken up angry. And look at that. Noelle is taking care of them. I always feel like all like toddler interactions must be like extra, extra tough for Noelle. Like even though she's like starving, she's still looking after the toddlers. Just because like she knows she has a little toddler out there and she's not with them. So this must be so hard for her. She's been a good big sis though. Is that a peanut or ham and cheese sandwich as well? And little Chase is still doing a little sleeper so he's rested for a little while longer. And the retirement pay is in. And Salma's cooking steaks for breakfast. You can tell she's at the end of her life when she's cooking steaks for breakfast, you know. Just going all out there. And it's such a dark looking day. Like, look at it. It's gross. I thought Harvest Fest would be looking like beautiful, like ready kind of hues. But instead it's just misty and disgusting outside. Oh, I hate that. But at least everyone's like, look at this for a communal breakfast. Tell me this isn't a gorgeous family that enjoys each other's company. And I'll tell you, you're telling me a lie. Um, uh, Macy, why don't you have your homework on you? You did your homework. I literally watched you do it. What have you done with it? Where have you put it? Where is it gone? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh, and I think it may have given everybody a day off for harvest day. Because look, it's not saying she needs to go to work for 24 hours. 23 hours even. And I don't think it's forcing the kids to go to school. No! Harvest Fest is a holiday. <gasps> That's amazing. And look at this. Jamie texting Macy because she became friends with Charlie. Jamie trying to get back on the scene, you guys. Oh my gosh, everyone's super happy that those guys made friends. And we just got bills for like eight and a half thousand pounds. But look how rich they are, you guys. One thing that you said, oh, she's gone out and looked after her garden, is that because I use cheats to, um, like, give these guys the money to get the house, I think I should make sure that I'm donating money to charity. She can't do it over there, though. Can I do it on here? <gasps> donate to online charity. Let's donate a thousand pounds to... Should we know what? We'll donate money to all the charities. I think that'll make Salma feel really good as well. They can afford to do it, and it's like... When you get to, oh, God, I feel so like morbid saying this, but when you get towards the end of your life, like this is the kind of stuff you do. You like you get your assets in order, and if her assets are she wants to donate to loads of charities, then that's exactly what she's gonna do, and she's gonna feel really good about doing it. Oh, you can only ever donate to one charity at a time. Okay, I'll try and get her to do one for like every single day. And I don't know why she's still dressed in her like the thermostat set to hot, and that he's feeling hot. So why is everybody still dressed in that outdoor gear? That makes no sense. Oh, by the way, cuteness happening right here. Cuteness happening right there. Okay, so I'm gonna buy some holiday items for Harvest Fest. 
We need some gnomes outside apparently. So I'm gonna put a little array of harvest gnomes outside just for fun really. It's our first harvest fest so let's just get one of every single one. Not that gnomes are creepy or anything. I mean that one's a ghost. That is pretty creepy. Okay we have one of every single gnome. And then I've got my decoration items there. And then I guess we need to do a little bit of harvest fest decorating. I'm just gonna pop down all the things that I think are like nice harvesty kind of things everywhere. Some of this stuff's a bit Christmassy. I don't want to like veer into Christmas stuff. Okay, I've got these little like little leafies running down the middle of the table. Can I put some stuff like outside the front door? We actually have leaves already outside the front door. But can I put this little wreath on? There we go. This is a plentiful horn. Let's put some of those outside. I don't really know what else you do for Harvest Fest. I think all this stuff's Christmassy and I don't want to do that. So no, I'm going to leave the rest of it. A lump of coal. <laughs> Okay, and then the rest of the stuff, I guess, they're gonna have to decorate the house. So that's like a nice fun activity. Can we go ahead and do that? Oh, it is raining, but... Okay, let's decorate the eaves. What colour should we go with for everything? Oh, wow, there's so many. Ah, this is so cute. Oh, wait, look, it's put them on. It's put them on. <gasps> let's look at the whole house. Oh, man, I don't have eaves, do I? Because I've got, like, this ultra-modern house. We've got these around the outside. I just don't know if I can put any other stuff on. Like, look, if I select, like, uh, oh, no, 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 don't do any barbecuing. Like, if I ask her to put, like, this orange on the eaves, I don't think she's actually going to be able to do it because I don't think we have any eaves. Like, she's rummaging through the box now. Like, look at her go. But I don't think she's going to be able to find anything, you guys. Yeah, look, nothing happens. Our house is too modern for Harvest Fest. Never mind, why don't you all come outside and appease the gnome, okay? Everybody come and do it. I know it's creepy and weird, but... Oh, Salma likes the rain. But you've got to do it. It's part of the holiday fest. Give him a salad. Give him some pie. Okay, there we go. Everybody is appeasing their gnomes. We've got some happy gnomes around the house. I'm kind of scared that if I don't appease them all, something bad's going to happen. So I'm just going to keep... Oh! Oh my gosh, what just happened? What just happened? What just happened there? All the gnomes just disappeared. That's super creepy. Have they just moved all around the house? Am I going to find gnomes everywhere? Oh my gosh, what has happened? What has happened? I am now terrified of gnomes stealing my children. Oh my gosh, they all just came to the kitchen. They've all just come into the kitchen. What is going on? Why are they all in my kitchen? Look at these terrifying scenes of gnomes everywhere in my kitchen. That's super creepy. Oh my gosh, I'm like, why aren't you guys doing the gnome appeasing? And then I look and they're both... Giving each other big kisses outside. Oh, if she appeases her gnomes, it helps with her empathy. Okay, that's a good thing. Oh, no. That gnome was not appeased, you guys. That gnome is angry. Uh-oh. Plead for forgiveness. Oh, man, these two are good at it, but Macy is not so good at this tradition, you guys. I don't think she's great at appeasing gnomes. It's the oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Is she okay? She just got hit by lightning? What? The gnomes are watching. Oh, no, you didn't. No, Macy has gnomed and, oh, and angered the garden gnomes. And now she is on edge. What? What kind of freak incident was that? These gnomes hate her. Look at them. How are we supposed to cook if they're all in our kitchen? Oh, my gosh. They all just disappeared again. They all just disappeared again. What is even going on? This is the weirdest thing. I've never really played with the gnomes in my game before. And I'm kind of scared of them in a big way. They're very freaky. Okay. Oh, no. They're back in the kitchen. God's sake. I kind of need them out so we can cook. So, because I need Selma to go ahead and cook a grand meal. Okay. We... I think she needs to do a few. So, we'll do a turkey dinner. But we'll also do a tofurkey dinner. So that everybody is appeased, you guys. Charlie, do you want to do a little bit of cleaning up in here, okay? I'm having a bit of a glitch since Seasons came out, where a lot of the adults are stuck holding the toddlers for, like, ages and ages. I'm just going to have to, like... Can you guys go outside? I'm going to delete the ones that are angry because I feel like they're going to just ruin our lives. But you gnomes need to leave, okay? You were just here for cuteness, but you've just ended up ruining Harvest Fest. Okay, so I've gotten invited uh, the farms around for a dinner party. I've got Salma cooking in here. I'm kind of seeing a bit of dirtiness on the floor, so I'm just going to see if one of the girls' minds cleaning that up because it's stressing Salma out. And this is going to be cute because look, there's a little summer popping around. I like how they're just leaving her to walk. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Someone nearly just got hit by a car. 
Because Erica just strolls in and leaves her. Erica, Evie, sorry. Eve, wait, Evie? Why have I invited Evie? I've invited the wrong person. I have actually just invited the wrong person. I can't believe I've just done that. Okay, here we go. Now we've got Connor turning up. No, that's Erica turning up. Where is my Connor then? I'm trying to find Connor Rooney. He's meant to come as well. I swear to gosh, getting people to come to your house. Is that Connor? No, it's Asha. Can sometimes be like just the glitchiest experience in the whole world. Okay, so James so is outside now. inviting Great little place. Erica in. Oh look, he can be thankful uh, with her for yes. Harvest Fest. <laughs> James loves this tradition Hello, from being be? good. Spend time to reflect and be thankful. Candle. I guess James is thankful that yes, Erica has brought a little yes. grandchild in the world for them. Now I guess it's time to call everybody to the grand meal. I don't know quite how many servings are in there. There's 12. Okay, we may have enough. Okay, there we go. James is calling everybody with his little Harvest Fest bell, which I like. That's a cute little addition. And this is nice because it means everybody's going to get to know little Erica. I love her, like, cool, like, boyish clothes. I think they're really nice. I like, like, the boyfriend style. Hopefully everybody's going to come and grab themselves a little bit of food. Ash is making sure the kiddos have some stuff while they're there as well. Oh, the little kids are kind of getting a little bit in the way, I can't lie. And the world, why have you come in it at all? This is meant to be Harvest Fest, okay? And James, why would you come upstairs and eat it there? Honest to God, come and sit here, you absolute fool. And Sam has got an eating hers out there in the rain. Honest to God, the way this game handles where to eat and stuff is just so dumb. It is so, so dumb. And the kids, the oh, there's little Summer there as well. <gasps> Summer, we need to get you a little high chair so you can eat and bubble along to your little... I don't know, what would they be? Like, what relation would they be to her? I'm not even sure. Oh, the kids have got turkey dinners. Okay, the kids have actually got turkey dinners. I didn't even need to do that then. I, I literally can't have her wearing that outfit. It's stressing me right out. There you go. Erica, grab some foodies, okay? And this is nice. Everybody's getting to chit-chat with Erica. Me her, have some beautiful being thankful for each other's times. So they all need to complete this be thankful thing separately, so. Oh, and Mesa ignores the food tradition. That's interesting. Share Harvest Fest excitement. Be thankful. Noelle wants to complain about Harvest Fest. That's just the way she is, you guys. And look at little Willow with the Harvest Meal, you guys. Look how cute she is. I'm not sure if toddlers are meant to be eating bones like that. I don't think that's a grand idea but i bet if i bet if Salma's cooked this meal it's going to be absolutely delicious i mean people are going back for seconds i'm pretty sure that's macy's second meal so clearly the food is pretty good you guys and it's all gone wow excellent quality it's literally delicious because it's cooked by the Salma. and look at these guys giving up their seats i mean you don't need to there's literally another two chairs down there you guys can come and sit you know oh and look at them loving all this first so i know Salma's. she's looking a little bit sad and down but i really want her to like just get a nice enjoy company okay that's nice just i just want them to like have a nice relationship with these guys because i don't know how long salma's got left and we already know that erica like looks up to salma a lot so I think it's important that these two get along well together. Because they're so cute together. And you know what? I've not seen hair nor tail of Connor. I don't know where that boy is. And once Salma's finished talking with Erica, I'm going to get her to go over and chit-chat a little bit with Summer as well. And annoyingly, I can't make the little kids like interact with each other. I think it's because they can't... I guess they don't know each other, and I don't know how to do like an introduction between two little toddlers. But we do have little toddlers... Oh, no, look, she's talking with Salma. Salma. Oh, no, she's talking with Erica? No, look, she's talking with Summer. Okay, this is nice. She's chit-chatting with her granddaughter. Oh, and look at this. James is making some pancakes for afters as well. And Summer's like the little Summer is a charmer. And the world's cleaning up. Everything is going much better than expected. Oh man, James and Salma get ill so often because they're old. I'm glad I constantly have medicine in their inventory because they always need it, you guys. And what is this little one doing outside in the rain? What is going on here? She's off to go make a mess. I don't think so. No, 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 no. Charlie Rose, can we get on that, please? And I can see somebody farting in their nappy there. And where is Connor? Is that Connor? Have I just mistaken Connor for our shit yet again? I think I have. Where is Connor? Oh, look at this. James is playing with little Summer. That's so cute. Just be careful, James. 
You know, sometimes grandparents, granddads can go a bit far and she might end up a little bit dizzy. This is still super, super cute though. I'm glad I did it as like just extended family so it was all like a little bit closer and together so I can keep an eye on everybody a little bit more. I want to make sure everybody completes Harvest Fest as well so I need little Charlie Rose to be thankful. And I want her to be thankful for Salma since she's the one that put all this on and threw a little Harvest Fest for the Famalams. Oh and Connor is finally making an appearance. Where have you been Connor? Oh and he's straight into little Summer. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, Harvest Fest is over. Harvest Fest is pretty good. And I got the host with the most for Selma. He wanted to do almost everything. Charlotte got to do everything she planned. Uh, host 50 bronze or better social events across all Sims. And uh, Macy's was successful. Selma's was successful. James's was successful. And uh, Noelle's was pretty good. Okay, I think that is pretty successful, you guys. I think we've done quite a good job there. Oh, look at this little cute moment I've walked in on. The two little googly eggs. They at least were playing dolls together. And then Charlie Rose wanted to come in and chat with her. But these little googly eggs are playing dolls together. That's so cute. Please go back to that. No, Charlie, you ruined the cute moment, for God's sake. There, I'm going to invite her back to come play more dolls. And there we go. These guys are both granddaughters of Selma and James. So they're actually both cousins. I think that's the way it works. Yeah, they're both be cousins. Because their parents are bro and sister. And they are looking super, super cute. The darkness in this house because of autumn is actually stressing me out a little bit. But I'm feeling pretty good about the way Harvest Fest has gone. And it's literally 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so I'm going to end this festival. Salma is so exhausted that she, everyone's going to sleep in the wrong beds. Which I'm not really a big fan of. Can everybody get into their own beds? But Harvest Fest seemed to go really, really well. <gasps> and with Willow going to bed... Everybody is asleep and in bed and Harvest Fest is officially over. So we know that Selma has, four, I think she'll be on five days left to live now. I just want to make sure we're not going to miss this. Her thing isn't sparkling or anything yet, but let's have a look at her. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying to catch her. Come here. Now, come back. Come back. You're too speedy. Selma. Okay, so she has four days left to live. Oh my gosh. There's literally no time at all. That is actually no time at all. So, one, two, three, four. It will be the day after Mischievous Day. I just need to go ahead and change the length of my months. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's given us, oh no, it's moved Harvest Fest again. I can just, I think I'm just gonna have to go ahead and cancel that one because we've already had a Harvest Fest. But what I am gonna go and do is put in a little Halloween festival for around about Actually, around about that time, I'm gonna create... Is there like a spooky fest? Spooky, there we go. Uh, trick or treat, wearing costumes, and drinking, I guess. Oh wait, I can put another one, I can put another one. Mischief spirit or party spirit? I think I'm gonna go party spirit, there we go. So we've got Halloween, and then I also want to do a remembrance kind of festival as well. Oh look, Noelle's birthday is there. Is that Macy's birthday? Oh, this is so cool. I love being able to like see things like this. This is actually amazing. We've got Halloween there. Okay, uh, not Halloween. Love day. Okay, I might reset Asha because Asha's like, meant to, he's way older than Charlie and he's not meant to be. But Salma has got one, two, three, four. She's going to die on Monday or Tuesday. Potentially. I don't know which, but we will have to keep an eye on that if you guys keep reminding me. And we need to make sure we come back to the suburbs or at least have Salma with us in another series so that we can be there with her in her final days. And I hope you guys enjoyed Harvest Fest. Ha is it was it called Harvest Fest? I'm pretty sure it was. If you did, let me know in the comments below if there's any way I can add that. I'd like to have like at least a week more to Salma's life. If there's a way I can do that, please let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of In the Suburbs. And I'll see you guys in another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.